By the way, that's what she's calling herself now, stepping it up from the super mayor title that she previously gave herself. Super mayor! Are you ready to take your oath? Yes. <laughs> Tonight, Dalton's new mayor, Tiffany Henyard, sworn in. Dalton residents, I am reporting for duty. Henyard, now the first woman and the youngest person to. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. The South What's up, YouTube? It is your boy, and we got to jump right into this. Dalton, Illinois. They elected their first female mayor. And this was a great time for a lot of black women. And on top of that, she's a single mother. So, yeah, it was an exciting time. First female and single mother, educated, comes me. But it's not coming out as good as it should have been. This young lady is trying to run this town like a dictatorship. She thinks she's a character of a gangster movie. Now, Pink Book Lessons been covering this for a couple months, and then I thought it would die out, but it's like still going because she's taking the city from maybe a half a million in debt to five million to seven million in almost two years. So let's jump right into this, man. And y'all, just hang on, just hang on. I'm into on the financials, and I don't know how I'm uh, neglected to do this. All the way until last month, we were receiving monthly financial reports. This month, we did not receive a monthly financial report the way that we traditionally would. When we talk about the deficit, Last fiscal year through May, the deficit was $2.5 million in our operating account. This year through the report we got, which was September 30th, I pulled that up as you were speaking. So from May through September, there was an additional $4.2 million of deficit. So you couple those two together, the deficit is growing and it's approaching $7 million. Yes, the deficit Greetings, this is Trustee Edward Steve. And I must address the appalling lies that you may have heard in attempts to smear my name and sully my character. To stop a mayor who already recklessly turned a budget surplus into a $5.8 million deficit with no plans of how to get us out of it. Now here's the thing. This mayor has been out spending money on herself. This is the crazy thing. She's been going on trips, having a good time, she leased a Tahoe for $159,000 and signed off on it herself. So one of the biggest problems they have, as you will see, is she is cutting these checks and signing it herself when it's supposed to be two signatures on it. But just listen to her when she get caught up by heading to Vegas. This is hilarious. Just pay attention. Go to Las Vegas? Mm. What is that? No comment. You don't know if you were in Las Vegas? Of course I do. Were you? It's not paid by them. Did you fly first class to Las Vegas? Any other questions? Actually, yes. <laughs> Mayor Henyard and other top officials traveled to Sin City in May to attend a shopping center conference. It's unclear if it helped Dalton land any deals. The credit card records do shed some light on tax dollars spent at several restaurants near the Strip, including Cafe Hollywood and Hot and Juicy Crawfish. They show township taxpayers also spent money on the Vegas Strip on everything from steak dinners to hotels and $3,741 just on Henyard's round-trip flight. I should have to sit up here and break all this down. Now, once all the trustees start realizing that they're, they're um, budget has gone up, the deficit's gone up, they start looking into things. And once they start looking into things, the mayor starts taking away their privileges to include locking them out their offices. Check this out. This is the assessor's office. Cassandra Elston has been the assessor here in Thornton Township for the past 10 years, an elected position that helps residents deal with exemptions and property tax appeals. But when she arrived at this work this morning, something sit. strange happened. This, this was your office? Yes. What happened when you tried to open it? 
he doesn't work. Not only had Elston been locked out of her own office, but boxes of sensitive documents that she kept in her office were spread around the common area. So who did this to you? Well, I imagine this new supervisor, Tiffany Henyard. When Tiffany Henyard has become a political lightning rod since she was elected mayor of Dalton, making $46,000 a year, and last year appointed Thornton Township supervisor at more than $200,000 a year. Elston has been critical of Henyard's spending at the township and believes getting kicked out is political payback. But this is not going to stop me. This is my job. This is what I get paid to do. Mayor locking the trustees out of Village Hall tonight, forcing them to have a meeting out in the parking lot. Lot, all of which has Dalton residents shaking their heads in disbelief. I think it's uh, deplorable for her to uh, lock out elected officials, not only the residents, but the elected officials also, so they can conduct the business of the village. Okay, so, okay, so a lot of this stuff makes you like just really wonder, like, what is going on? Like, did she come out just trying to be this little pleasant little young lady? You know, oh, everybody like her. Then once she got there, she was like, okay. I'm going to take it for everything or just went the power just went to her head. But did they ever do background checks on these people? Because once you do, a few things come up and then she went ahead and hired. Well, I'm going to let y'all see it and I'll be back. Henyard arrested July 20th, 2016. Released July 21st, 2016. Criminal trespass to vehicles. This is someone who's breaking into vehicles. And here's her address, and it's Dalton, Illinois. So this, this could this be Tiffany A. Henyard Supermare? Could this be the mayor? Now, this is five years before she became mayor, so she's 32 here. Does this look like Tiffany A. Henyard Supermare? No, no. Let's see if we can find something else. Let's see if we can find the arrest record. Well, hey, I already found it. This was, she was booked in the Chicago PD. Look at this. Again, released July 21st. Charge criminal trespass to vehicles. And she had to pay $1,500 bond. Is this our Superman? If this is correct, which I do not know, it looks like the super mayor was uh, breaking into vehicles five years before she became the elected mayor of the town responsible for spending mills. I think these people didn't do a proper background. Okay. So you'll see that she has, it probably is a misdemeanor charge, but still you make you look at her character. Like mm, what's going on? What are you doing? Blah, blah, blah. But since she's been mayor now, she has like gone over everybody's authority. She just, she just doing what she want to do. And since she's trying to get rid of so much of her staff now, the trustees, because they are questioning what's going on, where the money's going. So she's getting rid of them and trying to bring her own people, except she's not doing her background checks either. She brings in an old friend who happened to have a uh, certain type of assault on young minor women spent 25 years in jail and thought it'd be a good idea to bring him in on a six figure, you know, six figure uh, pay and it, it'll be nothing. 46 year old Lavelle Redman is close friends with Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard, who in September hired Redman as a code enforcement officer without the village board's approval. Redmond served 25 years in prison for the brutal gang rape and beating of two young teenage girls in the 1990s. Now, when she was questioned about this guy, she claimed she didn't know this about him. But if you did your background check, you'd have known. And plus, it's an allegation that that's her friend. Friend. And y'all known each other for a while. So when this man just did 25 years, you think you didn't, you didn't know that? But check out the next lady she hired, one of her friends who was a waitress, and you give her a six-figure uh, job with no experience. And this is how she talks to the people. And here's another one of her pieces that she put on the game board to ensure that she can grow and maintain her dominance in the area. 
That's Carmen. Carmen is the assistant to the mayor in Dalton, and the mayor also appointed her as a board of trustee in Thornton Township. A woman that the mayor took from being a waitress at a very popular restaurant who's got a questionable background herself that includes fraud, and now she's a runner for the city girl mayor and even making important decisions as a Thornton trustee. Imagine being incompetent with no experience and being placed in positions overnight to make upwards of $115,000 while also allegedly benefiting from Section 8 living and assisting the mayor in draining the town into a $5 million deficit. We're going to now I want y'all to listen to this young lady, how she gets up and try to um, defend the mayor and some of her staff by disrespecting the elderly people in the room. Now, this is one of her new employees. This is how she's talking to the elderly people that pays her salary. Respect is something that's earned. It ain't something that's just given because you a hundred years old. A hundred years old. Respect is earned. Can you be quiet, please? No, exactly. Okay, chief. Enough. Okay, and I do too. Enough. And I do Enough. too. Be quiet. Disrespectful. Ignorant. You a clown. Look what you got on. You know what I mean? And see, this is what you get when you hire people that's not professional people. This is what you get. And you know, she get it. Basically, she copying her mayor. Because this next clip, I want y'all to see how this mayor showed up to one of their um, town hall meetings. This woman came in as Nino Brown from New Jack City. Dressed just like him. Check it out. During one of the town hall meetings, the city mayor shows up as the character Nino Brown. We all know the old movie Nino Brown, the drug dealer from the movie New Jack City. She actually walked in dressed like Nino Brown from the movie New Jack City. So it's, it's just frustrating, you know, it, it's just you don't even want to come to the meetings because you know that the questions aren't going to get answered. Or then when you do have a question, they say, oh, well, we're going to direct you here. Send an email. And then we keep saying, well, just put it on the website so that we don't even have to keep going back and forth with whether or not the information is shareable or not. It's just frustrating, you know, and I'm, I'm hoping I have to pray before I get here because it's like. Well, the super mayor starting to get a little nervous, you know, because everybody's starting to look into the financials. So she's trying to figure out a way. How can I pay some of this money back? So this woman decides she want to tell the police force to go out and ticket everybody. Just ticket people. And these people thought, like, what's going on? They're thinking they're getting $50 tickets. They're getting $500 tickets. And if you don't show up on this certain day, that ticket would be $1,000. So that was her way of trying to get this money back. And I want y'all to look at the line of people that was ticketed and what they had to say. Check this out. Only on two tonight outrage in a different South Suburban town, Dalton. Hundreds of people lined up to pay tickets they say they never should have gotten. As CBS 2's Jermon Terry explains, they were told to show up in court today or the fines would double. Usually the trains are the loudest noise in South Suburban Dalton. Yet on Thursday, the rumble came from hundreds and long lines outside the municipal court. How long were you in that line? I can't even tell you, man. It was a long day. Hey, I sat down, I stood up. I've been in line for two hours. They are all here after getting slapped with various citations all of a sudden by the city. Now, Dalton is a city of, like, I don't know what the popular, but it's a small city, but they have a, um, our income medium of twenty four thousand dollars, twenty four thousand. So you have medium of twenty four thousand dollars, and you are writing five hundred dollar tickets. So it's a lot going on with this situation. I'm surprised they hadn't had this place audited yet, because somebody need to come in and find out what's really going and put a stop to this, because it's gotten way out of hand, way out of hand. This little lady has gotten to a point where she just thinks she's invincible. Like I said, she is trying to be New Jack City, Nino Brown, but she must, she probably didn't see the end where he was destroyed at the end. Well, guys, that's all I got on this crazy lady right now, but believe me, there will be more. 
So before you guys get up out of here, make sure you hit that share, like, subscribe, and that notification bell to get the next video. And also click on the small videos that pop up over here, or over there. But as always, and always, it is your boy, Mr. Nobody. And I'm up out of here. Y'all stay vibing. Peace. All right, all right, all right, all right.